Today, I am going to be sharing with you my monthly income report. This is for April 2022. In these income reports, I share with you my QuickBooks exactly how much money I make in every one of my businesses, everything from the real estate investments that I have to Simple Programmer, my programming business to this business, Bulldog Mindset, and any other income that I am producing. So I'll show you exactly how much money that I'm making and how I'm making this money because I want it to be transparent so you guys know how to do this and, and that I'm legitimate and more importantly, that you know that this is possible. We're gonna just jump into this. We're gonna start off by going through the real estate here. So my main real estate company is called Whisper Snail and I have several different rental properties here. So if you guys have been through the income reports already, I'm not gonna go over every single detail here because uh, I don't wanna bore everyone, but we're just gonna kind of look at each one of these. So some is real estate one, this is some commercial property that I own, two commercial units in a shopping mall. And you can see that the income is, is really good on this there's some expenses on this property but it basically nets about eight thousand dollars a month that's what we ended up here real estate three this one is a fourplex that i own in meridian idaho and i think that there's yeah everything is, should be fully rented out here not very many expenses here nothing out of the ordinary so a decent profit there and then real estate seven this one is a duplex that I own in Kansas City, Missouri. It's actually kind of in a not the best neighborhood, to be honest with you. I thought about selling it, but it's just not worth it. But I had a whole bunch of income come in because there was this state program where they paid the back rent for a tenant that didn't pay. And for the last, what is it, year or so, this tenant was going through eviction, all kinds of stuff. It was a mess. Again, this is why sometimes having properties in bad neighborhoods, not such a good idea, but I did get a whole bunch of income in here that came in at one time, had some expenses on this, not a huge amount. The association fees on this do suck by the way, but end up with a nice big profit there, which helped for the month. And then we got real estate eight. This one is two fourplexes in Kansas City, Missouri, in a nicer area. I think one of the units is not rented out, so that's being rented right now. And then there's some expenses on this, a little bit of maintenance. I had some big maintenance, I think the last month, which put me into the negative here. But for April, we're looking really good here. And then real estate nine, this is a triplex I own in Nampa, Idaho, Caldwell, Idaho, actually. And that is fully rented. It's one of the best investments I ever made. A really, really good return on this. And uh, you can see there's a few expenses here, but not a huge amount. So about $2,200 there. And then this is just the main account. The accounting fees are in here. And then QuickBooks fees are in here. So uh, just so I'm accounting for everything. And then this last one is an office space as well. I'm getting the rents there. I have it rented out to a, a commercial office there. And there's hardly any expenses. Commercial buildings, when they're doing good, they, they do really well and they're low maintenance. So I got a profit here of $25,530. That's a nice one for the real estate. The next thing we're going to look at is Simple Programmer. So Simple Programmer did not have a great month. There's a couple of reasons why. So in advertising revenue, this is basically YouTube revenue that mostly came in from this. It was 906.65, which is not bad. I think there was some other, oh no, actually this is ad revenue on the blog mostly and, and some YouTube because I've got some banner ads on there. Not the great way to generate revenue to be honest with you. Some affiliate revenue. I used to get a lot of Bluehost referrals, not so much anymore. Some Thrive Themes, Interview Cake, 2000 books, uh, some other affiliate income here. And then product revenue, not a huge amount here. Again, I have automated emails that are selling my courses there, but they're not as updated anymore. Or definitely there's some huge opportunity in this business. I just haven't gotten around to it. Big revenues coming up really short here. I think it's just the way that Amazon had, has done the payments for the Audible. I've got two best-selling software development books that do really well, both have audio versions and regular print versions, but I think that it's just, I'm going to see a big chunk of money on the next one because sometimes they don't pay exactly on the right day. And I don't have it set up right now in the accounting to account for that. So we're seeing that there. A total sale is basically 5,000 bucks, a little over that. And then operating expenses. Had some contractors, I think some upward contractors. 
that we're, we're doing some graphics and, and things like that for me. The content marketing, this is for the blog to keep that, get that going. Hosting fees, software that I'm using, not a huge amount here. Some of this could be trimmed a little bit, but not a huge amount. And then the big expense here was the advertising because I've been running some ads on Amazon for the books to try and up the book revenue. It's not working out so well. I think I'm probably going to cut this, but it was a good experiment. I learned some things on this and uh, it seems like I could probably run these ads if I run them myself and then it might be worth it because I have to pay someone 500 bucks a month to do this, which really eats into the, the profitability of it. Plus I didn't see much return on it. Some insurance, accounting fees and bank and, and PayPal fees. So what ends up happening because and mostly because it's advertising, I would say that was kind of the big expense is that not very much, just $30 and 32 cents profit. It's kind of crazy when you, you see it, like all this money comes in and then it all goes out. <laughs> this was the, the big expense, I would say that otherwise I would have a decent profit there. And then also I think the book revenue was missing that it should have shown the rest of the book revenue. So the next thing we're going to look at here before we get into the actual bulldog mindset part is this other entity I have called Sonos Ventures. It basically owns Bulldog Mindset. So the numbers you're looking at here, you can ignore aside from two things because this is what I use just for the accounting. And then I put like extra stuff like travel and stuff for my books for, for both Simple Programmer and Bulldog. I keep them completely clean in the sense that it is really just the profit to the owner so that I don't have travel and meal and stuff that are optional expenses in there. I, I like to do that so I know what I'm actually working with, not just you know what the IRS is for, for tax purposes here. But there are two things that aren't captured in here, which is the income, the royalty I get from my book, which is the book that I had published with Manning before they pulled it. So they, I still get some royalty checks on that from time to time and like the foreign rights. So I got a nice check there. And then Pluralsight, even though they pulled all my courses, I still have one in there and it still <laughs> generates a little bit of money. So looking at um, 1857.82, there. Now, before I get into the Bulldog Mindset stuff, by the way, if you guys want to become financially free and build passive income, like I've been able to do, like you see with the real estate there, you want to quit your nine to five job, learn how to do this kind of stuff. I have an opportunity to book a call, a free call below. Now, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not going to be on those calls. I do not have time to jump on calls with everyone, but it is a call to get you a financial freedom plan and to see if you are a kind of person that would be good fit to work with me personally on my high level mastermind programs where, where I go over this and help you do this. It's basically called the wallet never everyone's tried. But don't worry about that stuff for right now. You need to see if it's something that is actually even gonna work for you or is even a good fit for you. So click the link down below to do that. So now let's jump to the Bulldog Mindset Income. I know a lot of you guys are really curious about that and what's been going on with that. So it's been kind of interesting actually. So let's go ahead and take a look over here at the monthly report for April for Bulldog Mindset Income. I record this into a separate spreadsheet just so I, I said I can extract those numbers. I'm actually working on hiring a bookkeeper to do this for me, but I actually put it in QuickBooks finally and separate the two companies out. So I'll, I'll be hopefully doing that in the next month or two, but I, I am careful hiring people, so I wanna make sure it's a good fit. So if we look at uh, the breakdown here, we've got advertising sponsorship income. Basically, YouTube uh, was 1107, which is, is decent. And then I did this advertising campaign for Blue Chew and they paid me a, a pretty good amount to do a video for them on YouTube. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I normally don't do stuff like that, but they gave me a pretty good offer and I felt like it, it was something that you guys could use. I think the Blue Chew stuff is pretty useful to you because it is really like a service that I would use myself because it is kind of embarrassing going to the doctor and stuff like that when you can get this just taken care of online. So you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I thought it was a pretty good fit and I thought it was something that yeah, I, I think is valuable to you guys. So affiliate stuff here, prop stream, avid.fm. That's really like that, that course that I have on dating. Uh, Teach has been doing real good. Thrive themes here. Sunsama, I've been promoting that productivity product in one of my videos and it seems to be generating some income. And then active campaign, that's the email stuff. And by the way, all these affiliate links, where are they at? Mostly, let me show you here. If you haven't already seen this, we'll go to on the Bulldog Mindset website. If you go to the Storing of Business Resources 
pretty useful resources here. And hey, if you want to help me out, you want to help contribute to that number <laughs> to make it better on the affiliate stuff, you can just go ahead and click any of the links here. This is all the tools that I recommend and stuff. And it's good stuff. Let's see. Let's go to back to the monthly reports here. So then the next thing here is looking at so product sales here. So we're looking at the books, self-confidence for men book and the house not being lazy. I think again, Amazon, the reporting on here on the payment is delayed. So it's probably gonna be a double payment for the next month because this looks really, really low. Bulldog mindset membership. The number here is $36,822. Now what's off about this is that it's not just the membership, it's the Well That Everyone's Drive program. So remember I did that little commercial just a minute ago where I was click down below to book a call with me. Full transparency, because I'm fully transparent. The thing is when you book that call, what's gonna happen is someone from my team, my sales team is gonna work with you and try to figure out if you're a good fit for the Well That Never Runs Dry program, which is a financial freedom system that's gonna teach you how to become financially free. And we're running it right now. It's group coaching calls. It's a really good program. If you really wanna become financially free, if you really wanna retire young, I definitely encourage you to enroll in it, but you have to go through my process in order to do that because I have a sales team in place now and we're, we're working out that, that system. Some of that income here is not just the membership, but it was me selling the Well That Never Runs Drive program before I had my sales team. So I sent some emails out, you might've seen them. I gave some opportunities. At first, I sold 50 slots to this program for $2,000 when it was pre-launch beta. And then launch beta, I started selling it for $3,000. And so I sold some myself here and that's what bumped that income up. And now if you want to, to buy it uh, at the, the full launch price, which is the only thing available at this time, like I said, go click the link, book a call and just check it out. You know what I mean? See if it's a good fit for you. I think that it, would be extremely beneficial to anyone to enroll in it. I wish I had something like that when I was starting out. So like the stuff I'm showing you right now here, this is what you're gonna learn is how to do this, how to do this exact thing, because anyone can do this. Like you can literally become financially independent, but you gotta know what to do and stock market is not gonna do it for you. So anyway, coaching was really good. Also getting a lot of coaching clients. If you guys wanna sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, obviously that's an option as well, but I already had too many slots that are filled up. I talked about opening a few more slots. I did. It's too much. I am basically paring it back down. Uh, I will probably just raise the prices in order to, to compensate for that. So there'll be less people that apply. Uh, so if you did want to try to get in, get on the wait list or whatever before then now would be a good time to do that. But yeah, coaching is good. And again, it's a lot of income from coaching, but I do have to work in terms of trading my time. So it's not something that like I totally count on in the business. And, and, and like I said, it, it's better to build something that is more automated. So let's look at the next thing here is which advertising, Facebook, nothing, Amazon. I'm running ads for this other book as well. The idea behind this too is that I have the self-confidence program. So if we look at this again, we'll, we'll take a deeper dive into this stuff because I know you guys are, are interested in it. But if we look on Amazon and we look up my book here, what you can see, and I've talked about this a little bit before, but there's a funnel here that's going on, the self-confidence for men. So I'm running Amazon ads to this. The idea is that, you know, I'm not making a lot of money off of this book. It's like a couple bucks or whatever. I think the print version, I moved to eight bucks. And what happens is that, again, it's that you're not gonna make a lot of money off of this book, but when you get in here, okay, if you read this book, what you'll find is that there is a link in this book and it goes to this self-confidence quiz. You take this quiz, now what happens is that eventually you go through an email sequence and you get pitched this self-confidence program, this self-confidence system. By the way, if you guys wanna buy this, you can buy this. I'm not gonna put a link in here, but you can just go to self-confidence system. And this is my self-confidence system that I developed here and includes group coaching calls as well but a lot of really cool stuff here. I'm not, gonna, I'm not trying to sell you on it, so I'm not gonna pitch it here, but it's a huge value here and the price is 497. That's kind of the idea here. So far, I haven't seen a huge amount of profit from this. I still need to do some work on, on getting this going, but the idea is running these Amazon ads. If I'm spending some money on Amazon, but at the same time, I'm getting people from that book to go through that funnel and then a certain number of them are buying, then obviously it'd be more profitable than just selling the books. So that's one of the techniques that I'm, I'm using here. 
I did some IG ads just to experiment with something for, I think for the confidence quiz. I don't know if it, it turned out so well there. I have some hosting fees, services that I'm using here. Again, if you want to see that list of services, you can check it out. I started this new service called Gravy. They're basically doing rebilling. So when credit card payments fail with Bulldog Mindset, they are manually doing an outreach instead of using Churnbuster. Uh, we're trying this out to see how this works. So they're promising me that I'll be able to earn more than what I'm, they're costing. We'll see what happens. If they don't, they have a guarantee on this. So it's actually a pretty good offer they put together. Contractors, video editing was higher because of the course. I think the Let Never Earns Dry course, some of that stuff, graphics, management. This is, includes Instagram Reels, which has been really good. I've been growing on Instagram Reels. And then paying for someone to do Amazon ads. It kind of sucks, but that's what's going on. The other thing here is that I have a setup fee for a sales funnel. So I just told you guys about the sales team that I, I'm working with. I, I had to pay a setup fee. I had them pay half of it as well in order to start selling because I have limited amount of time. So what I'm trying to do, and again, this is gonna be an iterative process, but you guys will see if you click the link down below and book the call, you can see how that process works, is I am trying to get them to be able to handle all the leads. So I will send all the leads, they will you know, handle the prospects, qualify them to make sure that they're a good qualification for the program and then sell them the program. And then that will make things a lot easier for me and allow me to focus on, on generating leads and then providing the fulfillment of the program. Because the program is a weekly group coaching, you know, twice a day on Mondays and a lot of other content in there. So I need the bandwidth to be able to do that. So having a sales team, that's the way that I'm looking at expanding. If that works, then I could eventually do paid ads. Right now I'm generating leads from my Instagram. That's if you DM me freedom, I'm doing that kind of thing. And then I'm journeying from YouTube, obviously, and then from the email list, and then some PayPal fees. And so total expense is 10,000 bucks. Net gain loss is 65 to 231.88. So I think if we add all of this up, what are we looking at? I'll give just kind of a rough number here. So let's say 65,000. We've got another, let's say $2,000 there. So that's 67 and then 25,000. So we're at like 92,000 and then simple programmer, too bad simple programmer didn't push us over the hundred, but uh, basically $92,000 profit for this month. Not bad at all, or for April, not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. I definitely wanna get up to, kind of my goals are to get to a point of around, you know, definitely over 100K per month consistently of profit. And hopefully by doing the sales team, that's the big plan for doing that. So again, if you guys wanna check that out, go check it out. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer the questions that you guys have on this. If you're liking these income reports, let me know as well. If there's something else you'd like to see in them, let me know. I, I feel like I'm trying to be as transparent as possible so you guys can see. I don't have the time, unless we could do longer ones, but to go over every single detail of the business. But let me know what, what areas that you want me to, to focus on, what kind of questions that you have about it. I wanna show you exactly how this works and how I make money so you can do this for yourself.